I'm going to unbox and set up the one by one hi-fi turntable system with a full manual experience. It has the preamp built in. I will also show you some tips and tricks for balancing the tone arm. It has the um, USB connection to the computer so it, you can convert the vinyl records to uh, digital files. USB cable. We got a key for installing the belt. This is the adapter for 45 RPM. Compact power supply rated at 12 volts, 500 milliamps. Beautiful. Rubber feet. Spec down below. Power consumption is rated at 5 watts max. We got an on off switch. DC input, USB connection, phono or line output selection. There's a ground connection if you get a lot of static using the phono output. The ground would have to be used to connect to any ground metal option. Their RCA output, 45 to 33 RPM selection. Start and stop. Very, very simple. This is a magnetic cartridge from Audio Technica. There's a protector. I'm gonna keep it on for now because we're, we're going to make um, some adjustments. The belt is already installed. Belt driven, it will have less noise. It's usually spin it for about 10 times and it will automatically line up. It also has the anti-skidding protector the cover. The mat. Before doing all this, I highly recommend that you take a flathead screwdriver and tighten this screw a little bit to allow enough friction so it does not get moved easily and we will later tighten it down a little further once it is perfectly balanced. The tone arm balancing could be pretty hard to do. Here's a quick tip. You can use something like this, a automatic laser level to ensure high precision when you are trying to balance the tone arm. And this is perfectly done using this uh, HuePal laser level. And now we can reset it to zero. There's a zero marking to align it with that uh, black line and put it back to the bracket, lock it, then turn it counterclockwise until it hit the 1.5. That's the 1.5, that's the correct needle pressure to be applied to the uh, record. If it is applied too little, you will get the needle jumping around too much. If it is too much, uh, then you may damage the record on the long run. Now the last step of the setup process is to take this little thing thread and put it onto the slot, on the third slot. Put it back there and we're good to go. We'll make the connection with the speakers white to white, red to red. Insert the cover, put on the record. I'll be using the dark side of the moon, the original pressing. Let's try it on. Start, move the needle there, lower the needle, the power consumption is very low at 1.3 watts. 
I also have the Bluetooth connected to the, this um, cooling headset. I'm gonna show you how to pair the Bose Bluetooth speaker with the one by one vinyl record player. First of all, power on the Battery speaker. 80%. And make sure it is in the Bluetooth pairing mode. I'm gonna long press. Ready to connect. It says ready to connect. And make sure this thing is already powered off. Then power it on again it will enter the Bluetooth pairing mode automatically and there is a blue indicator flashing in the back. Connected to YTTR9. Okay, it is connected. Now we can play the music here. Turn on the turntable, put the needle here, drop the needle. Let's go to another song so it, uh, it's a bit more obvious. So that's how you enjoy the vinyl record player with the Bose sound link. It's coming from here. The sound can actually come out from both speakers at the same time from from the Bluetooth one which it may have a little bit of delay I'm gonna turn it all the way down and just show you it's also from here both have sound even if it is turned off it will automatically reconnect this set of stereo active speakers are also from one by one. These are powered with optical and coaxial input. So digital connection is also possible. We have the volume control, the treble, the bass, and the selection. RCA2. It will actually RCA. announce the connection type. Optical. Optical. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. RCA1. RCA1 is currently being used. Has the base port, speaker connections, digital inputs, the coaxial, the optical line input, uh, the opt optical input, the analog inputs, RCA1, RCA2. This is the wire that goes into the left speaker. We also got a on off switch, the power cord. The speaker grills are necessary if you have kids or pets around to cover up the, to protect the speaker drivers. These look beautiful and it's a fantastic match for the uh, vinyl turntable from one by one.